everyone. Let me. Here we go. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Thanks for joining me today. Oh my goodness. You're going to really um, probably think I'm really silly, but um, we'll just give it a minute. How's everybody doing? Where are you from? Make sure you make lots of comments because at the end I will scroll and I will pick somebody just from my scroll. So, you know, chit chat. I do have my iPad up, but you know I have issues with this thing. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Um, when I say issues, it's because I don't know, even though I have it set to never go to sleep, the screen still goes black on me. And I don't know if it's just an issue with my iPad or what. So I may have to, um, cause it's funny. Oh, I can see who's watching on here, but okay. Unless you make a comment, I don't see who's watching. Yeah. So, um, well, I see we've got 12 watchers. Hopefully your comments at the end of my live, I will scroll. I decided literally, literally at the last minute, I was going to put together a kit and I'm basically putting it together with some objects that we had from other kits that we have left over. And I, I'll tell you what my plan is for today. So many of you, and let me, hey, Levada, how are you, Roberta? Um, maybe I will leave my comments up because if I look up, then I can at least see some of you, right? All right. This is is what we were selling for the gingerbread kit, right? I have, uh, I think 27 of these left. I had accidentally doubled my order when I ordered these. So I ended up with like 96 of these and it's not bad I have 27 left because we sold a lot of kits. But you know, as a owner, a business owner, you don't want this stuff sitting on your shelves, right? So I have been racking my brain and I came up with something um, probably over the weekend I was laying in bed and I thought, God, what could I, what could we do with, uh, this kit? And then it came to me, how about a pixie house, right? Or if you want to call it a fairy house, but we're pixies here. So we're going to call it a pixie house. So what if we call it a pixie house, right? And okay. I've been procrastinating to do this live. You know I have a fear of failing, right? I, I'm open and honest about that. I'm so afraid that I'm going to come on a live and I'm going to try something that is just way over my skill level, my craft. You know, I'm, I'm a furniture and wall painter by trade. So this past, what, year and a half, I've, I've um, shifted to crafting which is great because it's a lot easier uh, sometimes to pick up a little project and do that opposed to a big piece of furniture. And then what am I going to do with the furniture if I, I can't really buy any? I've got a lot of my own to paint, but regardless. So my fear of failing has stopped me from doing this live. And finally today, and I was messaging with Melinda, our friend there, Melinda Blackwell, earlier telling her that I'm going to do it. I finally woke up this morning and said, you know what, Josie, that is just ridiculous. You are with your friends here. And I can only hope that there's not going to be somebody making a negative comment because that goes straight to my heart. I mean, thank God, thank knock on wood somewhere. Honestly, I've never had anyone do that to me. And I don't want today to be the first time. It um, kind of stops you right there in your tracks. Don't ask me why. I'm really hard on myself. You, those of you who follow me, you know that. So here we are together. We are going. I'm going to show you what comes in this kit, and we're calling it our Pixie House. And I'm going to tell you the price, and then we're going to get going on um, getting it put together. So you've got two choices. One is with or without Pixie dough. So we'll start with the pixie dough. If you decide you want this kit with the pixie dough, you're going to get the house, right? And this comes unassembled. I mean, I'm gonna to have to pop it out 
a little bit because I want to put a door in there and I'm going to put it from the inside and I'll show you the pieces we're going to use for that. So with the pixie dough, let's put it this way, it'll be an $18 kit. It's with the house, a full package of pixie dough. You're going to get a little round. Um, oh, there it is. You're going to get some blocks and you're going to get the big, the four inch candlestick. So if any of you ordered our candlestick kit over Christmas, this was the biggest one. This is what you will do with these, okay? And I think it's just adorable. And the truth is I kind of got this idea from Dina Ray's, from Designs by Dina, for, from her um, project that she did on the Mystery Challenge on Sunday. I saw a picture of what she did and I'm like, oh my God, this would be perfect. So what we're gonna do is you'll end up taking your candlestick. Hello, Marilyn. You'll put that on top. That's going to be a base, right? That's gonna kind of be a base. Then what you'll end up doing is gluing that on top. So it could be a pixie house. It could even be a bird house that you wanna keep indoors because quite honestly, this kit would not uh, survive outside, right? If it was raining or whatever, but it could be a cute little bird house if you um, decorate with bird houses. So what do you think of that? So this kit with the pixie dough is $18, all right? And that's a $4 savings because the pixie dough alone is 12. If you want the all the wood pieces without the pixie dough, it's only ten dollars. So here you go. Um, oh, let me flip my camera. I had flipped it earlier. I don't know what happened. Uh, let me flip you. Come on. Here we go. Now you can kind of read it for yourself if that makes more sense to you to read it. So with the pixie dough, it's eighteen dollars. That's a four dollar savings. And without the pixie dough, it's only $10. And again, I only have 27 of these wood kits left. Once they're sold out, that's it. We won't do anything else with them because we won't need to. So, now you have kind of the gist. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the Jenga blocks. So anyway, anybody? Hi, Debbie, Jody Santana here, all my friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Carrie Richardson, I haven't seen for a while, how are you? I'm gonna try and just kind of keep up with some comments here. Again, hey there, Stephanie. All right, Carol, how are you? Sue Ellen, you know, I just want to say hello to everybody because you're so kind about being here. Cindy Carol, my friend. All right, so the Jenga blocks, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. So I'm gonna pop and you will get instructions on how to put this uh, kit together. So I'm gonna pop off. I'm gonna have to take it apart for what I wanna do because I think it will just be easier because I want my door to still look um, rounded, right? So eh, I've gotta pop the I guess I have to pretty much pop it all apart. That's all right, okay. So this is what I would like to do. I'm going to glue the Jenga blocks to the inside. And let's see, I think it's done. And it'll just kind of give me the illusion, right, of a door, a closed door, right? So that's what I want to do. You could leave everything open and, um, oh, I have another idea. Hold on, hold on, don't go anywhere. Um, I may want to try, whoops, I'm thinking, I might even want to in the inside. See, I don't want to see inside mine because I'm not going to decorate inside. If you uh, saw that we had a gingerbread house contest, there were a couple of um, participants that actually decorated the inside of their gingerbread house. And that was amazing. Um, I'm not going to do that, sorry. 
I'm picking up another piece of lace. I had gotten this one. Oh, that's pretty. Except for it'll be on the, it would show. Oh, that's pretty, so I don't know. So we'll have to decide. Do I want to use this piece maybe? It could just be a little bit. I love those little scallops, right? It's so pretty. So we can decide that after, but it's going to have to be pretty soon. So maybe you can help me decide. Um, maybe you can help me decide which lace or this. This one's a little short, but it could still be really pretty, even though the the scallops, you could still see it. I don't know. So maybe you can help me decide the white lace or the cream color lace. They're both going to be pretty much the same. So I'll put those aside for a minute because I will need them. All right. My, okay. My heat tool is ready. So with that said, I want to cover the whole I'm just going to do this. Whoop. And being that this is on the inside, shouldn't be. See, and I should. I, oh, yeah, you'll have plenty of Jenga blocks if you want to make your door like that. And again, I'm making my door look like it's inside because, which doors are inside, right? They don't usually open out, but if you wanted a rectangular shaped door, you could leave it on the outside. Alrighty. So I hope you're all having a great day. I am. I'm having a wonderful day. So I think on Sunday, if you watch me on Sunday, I'm kind of, I'm really proud of myself. I started Nutrisystems and most of you, if you watch TV, I'm sure you've seen the commercial with Marie Osmond. She lost 50 pounds. Well, in 2007, I actually lost 43 pounds and over the, you know, actually kept it off for a long time. And then over the years, my eating habits got really bad to the point really where I wasn't even eating. I've always been told it's not what I eat, it's what I don't eat. I have, I forget to eat. So in the morning on my coffee, it fills me up. I'm not hungry at lunch, maybe about two, three in the afternoon, four-ish. I might have like, um, maybe like a quarter cup of mixed nuts. Those are kind of my go-to. Um, maybe a piece of toast with some peanut butter and then I have dinner. And then... I have a couple cocktails with my dinner. That's not good either. So, after I think I told myself, I saw a friend of mine that I hadn't seen for a while. She came to Italy with us. And when I saw she had lost 25 pounds on Nutrisystem, I decided I was going to go back on it. But I knew that we were going to be traveling for the holidays. We were going to be. Um, going to Hawaii. So I just got back from Hawaii last week and I ordered my package while I was gone. And I'm on what they call the seven uh, in seven days. So first seven days, it's a, um, oh, I think what, oh, what color should I paint the door? So anyway, real quick. So the seven days is a shake for breakfast, shake for lunch and mid morning protein bar. And then I eat one of their dinners, and in between, I can have all the vegetables I want. So I stepped on the scale today, and I'm already 4.8 pounds lighter. And I know it's a lot of water weight, but let me tell you, my body doesn't even care about water weight. I can go anywhere. I can starve myself the next day, the next three days, and I don't lose a pound. So I'm really proud of myself. And I'm drinking so much water, sometimes I think I'm going to float. But anyway, just thought I'd let you know. So maybe as I progress and really start losing, hopefully you'll be able to see my face slim down, your hair slim down. All right. So I had a, I went on Pinterest, and thank you, Karen. I'm proud of myself, and I, I feel like, and Karen, you saw my post. I actually prepped. I prepped. 
I don't like to cook. That's another thing. I do not like cooking. I'll, the only time I like to cook is if I have friends coming for dinner. And then it's, it's I don't know, it's, it's special, right? So I decided this morning that um, I was going to prep my vegetables for like the next few days. I cut up my package of carrots, which yesterday I actually, I made the best roasted carrots in the oven. And all I did was uh, toss them in olive oil, season them with this garlic palm parmesan seasoning I have. Just a little bit, not much. And I have the sugar-free maple syrup that's made with like, I don't know if it's stevia or monk fruit, not processed sugar, that I drizzled and then tossed it. And oh my God, I could, I woke up this morning craving those carrots. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to prep the whole bag, get everything cut up in sticks. And when I'm ready to make them, which I probably will, because I've already forgotten to drink my protein shake for lunch. See what I mean? Um, because I was so busy doing this. So tonight I'll have, and then I prepped a big bowl of cabbage, bell pepper, um, onion, and then later I'll add mushrooms. We're gonna stir fry those. And I just like using this chicken seasoning, really simple. And if I want more of an Asian taste, then I add, um, I don't really use soy sauce because I try to stay away from wheat products, but I use like this amino acid, which is made of coconuts, I believe. But anyway, then I do more like an Asian twist. But I can't. I'm so proud of myself just for doing that. All right, so <laughs> Carrie Richardson, my goal is 50 pounds. So we'll see. Oh yes, Barb, air fried. I put I did air fried okra yesterday. I've frozen okra in my freezer because I like to make gumbo and I it's just easier for me to buy the frozen gumbo, right? That's already cut up. And I had a package, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try this. And hopefully they're not slimy, because they're not slimy when I make my gumbo. And all I did with that was toss it in some a little bit of olive oil and uh, use my chicken seasoning. That's my go-to seasoning. Oh, my God, and air fried them for 20 minutes. So they got a little crisp. Oh, my God, they were so good. So now, oh, there we go. <laughs> so now that uh, I don't want to lose you here because I'm talking about my diet. All right. So the colors, I was researching on Pinterest different, um, like fairy houses. And in my head, I kept going back as far as color goes. I was really drawn to like more of the tans and creams, the neutral colors. But wouldn't it be fun maybe to paint the door a bright color? So most of you know my pixie dough colors. Start calling out what color you think the door should be. It's going to be, I'm, I'll start painting. How about that? Before I put it together, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Oh, you know what I could do? I'll paint, I'll paint the front of the house. Let's put this away for now. I'll paint the front of the house. And what I want to do is that stippling technique that I do where I just combine a couple of colors. And then you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with the pixie dough, it's gonna be really fun. All right, let me grab, um, grab a brush. So we have this brush called Flat Top, and it's a great brush to stipple with or stencil with. So I'm going to just load the two colors on there and start stippling. I want to I want to get them blended a soft blend more so it so that it looks like um, whoa I got glue on there so it kind of looks like the plaster on the house is fading. Thank you, Margaret, for sprinkling. Thank you, Carol. I love our colors. So if any of you have oops, I want to be really careful about. Not getting paint, I should have watched it. I've, you know, this kit, it can be really tight where you put it all together, so I need to be careful. I'm gonna paint it, and I think with the stippling, I'll be okay. If I have to, I can sand it. Anyway, what color, what color would be really, would be pretty with this? Should I do a bright, 
um, <gasps> oh, Vicky, sugared glass would be. Thought about Tropical Dream too, right? Let me grab. So these are my colors. So I'm using this one and whoops, that one right there. So out of those, so sugared glass, if you look down that blue, first blue aisle, sugared glass is the third one down, tropical dreams after that. Red or blue? Red or blue? Because I am going to put some flowers on here and some leaves. So those will be some green. What do you think? Maybe red velvet cake? That deep red? That could be pretty. What do you think? Either candy apple or red velvet cake. Which one would you prefer? Or candy papaya. That would be really pretty too. So most of you are saying red, candy papaya, red, 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 Caribbean color. Okay. What do you, uh, should it be second down? Red velvet cake. Okay, Barb, we're going to go with red velvet cake. Let me grab it. Okay. You know what I should do, though? Before I do that, since I have everything pulled apart, all right, we need to do this. I have to get my curtains glued. So what did we decide? The back one, I, oh, no, if I do that, that won't fit. You know, I think I'm gonna, mm, no, maybe not. The cream color probably with the color of the house would be better, right? So that's the way you would see it. Um, the back window is a longer arched, maybe, should I just do the bottom and like have the top open? Or maybe I can do two layers. Maybe I'll do two layers on that one, right? Yeah, I'm thinking the cream too, Vicki. The white's too stark. All right, let me grab my scissors. Let's cut it. What's nice is these lace pieces are from my mystery like the mystery kits I get from people. And I may not use them that day, but then I end up using them another time like now. All right. Let's go there. All right, that's the bottom, that's the roof. So what do we think? Back here, maybe I do like a double layer just so that it covers it. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's see how that might look. You know, and chances are this will be up against a wall. No one's going to see it. That. Not even make a difference, right? It's so, it's just lace. Yeah, I think I can double layer this back one and it won't be that big a deal. If I... How's that looking? All right, does that look? And then if, like, these will be exposed because they're the windows, so that's what I'll have to do. So maybe I go the other way, right? No, no, I don't want to go the other way. All right. Let me grab, you know, I love this little tiny, it's a sure bonder. I love, oh my God, but the, wow, I didn't realize it was going to go through. It's the only thing, so much glue. That I'm already through that brand new one. I barely used it. Oh, 
Okay, I had my my thing over here. Here we go. Okay, my little protector, right? And then I need to bring that up right there. Okay, let's see. Because I want it to match my side, the side of my house too, right? Okay. Should work. Josie. Okay. Oh, that'll work. It's the back. It's not going to be that big a deal, right? And then this one, I want to run about a quarter of an inch on the top. And then it looks like Our little pixie house has lace curtains. Ow. Okay. Okay. And one more. You have to be careful. At least the Sure Bonder's not as hot as my white other brand. I don't even know the other brand. And that one steams, it's so hot. All right. That's gonna work, okay. Put that down there. Put that aside for a moment. All right, so now, that'll be cute, right? Little uh, lace curtains. All right. I love seeing you, Big Sal. <laughs> Thanks, Tammy. I'm like a kid. I, you know, I, I have these ideas sometimes, and then I start thinking, oh, is that dumb? Sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. All right, let's put our door in. Our door in. Let's paint our door. Okay, we're going to use... Whoops, I didn't need that much. Red Velvet Cake. It's If you're new to my page, I didn't even introduce myself. I'm the owner of Paint Pixie. We are an arts and craft company. Creative Marketplace. I sell paint and in my own brand. I have my own brand of brushes. We get made in Italy. Um, those are the bigger brushes. The smaller brushes like these are made here in the U.S. So... I got glue. That's all right. Oh my goodness, I do. I have, you know, the glue that... Let me see if I... I don't know if this is going to work with the paint. Trying to get those, you know, like the web stuff the glue makes. Sometimes if you heat it, it kind of melts away. Well, I'm not going to fret over it. What the heck? All right? Okay. What the heck? They're just little webs. It could look like spider webs because pixie houses are outside anyway, right? In nature. I don't use this color very often, so I'm still working on my very first bottle that I received like two years ago. But it's almost done. I used it over the weekend to make a friend a birthday present. It's actually for her husband. And then I ended up um, 
putting our black wax on top and oh my god it was just beautiful and who knows maybe later I'll do that with this so all right I am done with that I'm probably gonna need another coat oh yes I guess I need a telegram <laughs> That's what Melinda was telling me. I'm going to dry it real quick. That way you get my other coat on. And then, you know, I think what we'll do is go back. I'll just, since it's a part, it's probably going to be easier to paint. I'll go back and paint the outside, right? I'll stipple the outside. Then I'm going to show you what I want to do around the door. I think it's going to look really cute. And then once I put it together, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using a pixie dough. And I have this idea. Um, I think it'll work. There's a thought to, oh, there's a thought to the black wax. Yes. It does look like a castle door, but it's our pixie door. I love that look. I think these, these blocks, I love these blocks. They're good for so many things. I had to, or well, I take it back. This set of blocks I was able to get um, from my daughter. Oh, but wait, no, I can't get back. I had to buy these in a set of three. Um, you know, they're the Dollar Tree blocks, right? Very affordable when I make kits. But you got to buy three of them. I sent them to my, had them sent to my daughter. All right. So I picked them up while I was in Vegas. So let's just set that aside. Let's go back to our stippling of the sides of the house so that while that's drying, I can be working on what we're gonna do with some pixie dough, probably on the front. And I'm thinking maybe, um, maybe around the windows. Let's see how, let's see how successful I am first. Oh, and I better, that wasn't smart, huh? I should have painted that first. That's all right. So you can see I'm just stippling these. Super easy way to blend your colors. And all I'm doing is I'm loading both colors on to my brush. And then it's just a pouncing technique, that's all it is. Called stippling. Whoops. I want to make sure I don't get paint on my curtains though. Probably should have, right? My first thought, and sometimes they say stick with your first thought, I should have painted first. It's all right. Okay. And again, the reason I am doing two colors instead of a solid color. I want to kind of give it that illusion of plaster fading because these would be outdoors, right? If it was a real pixie house where a pixie lived, they're living outdoors. And plaster will fade. All right, we're getting there. And we will be gifting one of these kits at the end of the live. I always scroll. So, you know, you want to hang out with us and hear your name being called. The more times you comment, the more chances you have, right? Because you've got your name on there all, but, you know, throughout the, the live. Need more cream puff. So I'm using chai latte and cream puff right now. Oh, what'd you say, Melinda? I <laughs> love when you gift your kids. I always say I have to bribe people to watch me. 
See, that's my insecurities. But I do have to say, I've made a lot of friends since I shifted to the craft, the craft world. Um, it was hard to get people to watch when I was furniture painting. Not, maybe not because they didn't like what I was doing, but I'm really inconsistent with my lives, and you all know that. And what's really helped me uh, meet all of you are the other affiliates and crafters. So I've gotten, you know, even though I still am very inconsistent about going live, you know, I still um, try to go live a couple times a month. I keep telling myself I need to do it weekly. Because now I know that you're there to watch me. Oh, no. Okay, so I just realized I glued down that second layer of lace. <laughs> and again, this is the back of the house. I'm not going to fret too much. Right? And what's great about that, you write these little brushes, you can get into those little areas. You know, I prefer not to get paint on my lace. But if I do, I do. Not the end of the world. You just learn, you know, Nick, you know, if you decide to do this, you just learn to do all your painting before you do your gluing. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can just Get enough paint off of this brush, All right? Okay. I had to, I could always go back with the little brush. So I have all four sides painted, right? I have that, I have that, I have that. All right, let me put my brush in the water. Let's see. Josie, did you see Beth's latest workshop creation? You and your granddaughter will need one. Beth, um, rekindle blessings, Beth? You know, my granddaughter isn't painting anymore. She is into playing guitar, and that's her focus. She's in high school, and she's in three different bands, including one outside of school. So two bands in school, one outside of school. And she plays... Um, I should say music, not just guitar. She plays violin for school. And I think her bass guitar for the after school. But she also does uh, play regular guitar as well. So she's just not into this anymore. Unfortunately, it makes me sad. I'm sure if I was there visiting and I said, come on, Zania, let's do something together, she would definitely do it. But it's not her focus anymore. You know, our watercolor paints and our watercolor pens... Um, are called Zen Art, and that's because her name's Anaya. And at the time, I brought those products out for kids, and I wanted them uh, to be in her name. I thought it was kind of a cool name, Zen Art. And at that time, she was helping me promote them. She was doing two lives a month with me where she earned um, money for a college fund. But that stopped already a long time ago. long time ago. So next time I get the watercolors made, I'll change the label to something more adultish. But I love our label because it's all my grandkids and my great grandkids. All right. So, hello, Teresa Underhill. Never late, never late, never late. Carrie, Laura, Louise, Restyle Lemons is going to start uh, doing lives for us again because she asked me for the calendar and she told me. If we're friends anyway I miss her she misses me right all right so let's put these aside for oh for a second and let's see if this one I think it's dry enough so I have this idea with pixie dough so I think seeing that this is all taken apart this is going to be the easiest way for me to do this instead of putting it back together, right? I think it could 
be really cute. And this we're going to do just with our hands, nothing fancy. You wouldn't change a thing, Cindy, about the watercolor and the paints. Do you like the label? Oh, Tammy, you have a point. I need a doorknob. I'll do that out of the pixie dough. I'm trying to think. Um, I'll do that after. I might have some. I. I might have something I can use as a doorknob. Okay. So what I want to do, and I want to mash this. Oh, but I don't really want it round. It could be oval, maybe. I was even thinking more square. I mean, it doesn't take, it's not going to take a lot of pixie dough to do this. But this is my thought. And I think I'd want it more square to cover the edges better. I want it to look like stones, right? Stones around the door. Okay. And I'm going to have to paint them while they're on here. And I don't see a problem with that. So if I put, if I do like that, it will fuse the pixie dough together. I don't know if you realize that when you're using your pixie dough, but if you connect it, it fuses it. Now I will need to glue it around the door, but I'm just kind of doing this for size right now, right? And I don't, I, and I don't mind, um, right? I want them to look like they're natural stones. They don't have to be all the same. They don't have to be perfect. But I thought that would be really cute. And what better material to use than pixie dough? Right? Somebody sent a full-size bag of pixie dough in the mystery box. I commented and told them that was a huge gift. Oh, I probably sent it. I sent it to, um, if you're watching on Sunday, I sent, it, oh, I didn't watch everybody's though. Uh, we had somewhere to be, but I sent a full-size package to um, Mary. But, you know, she had already bought some and used her open package, which I would do too. Isn't this cute? This little idea, right? You just make some stones. Tabby, how are you? Thank you. So if you're not following Tabitha from Tabby's Crafts and Blessings, you should. She's very talented and very sweet. And her daughters are so sweet and they help her. That's what I would miss. That's actually what I miss. I wish, um, I know, like I said, if I was still living in Vegas and doing lives and needed help, I know my granddaughter would help me out. You know, like read comments, do what uh, like Tabby's daughter does. It's really a big help. You know that I struggle with reading comments. So Tabby, how's your weather? Any better? We're actually, it's sunny today, but I'm gonna guess it's probably in the 50s. It was raining this morning though. Okay, so this, <laughs> I think what I need to do is start gluing this on. So I think I'm going to grab my glue gun because I really don't want to take it apart. Okay. And let's see if I can make this work all the way around this arch. Okay, we'll leave that, because I still have to do the bottom, but I'm feeling like 
I better get this on around the arch, right? Oh, look how cute. You like it? Okay, thank you, Debbie. I've got some great, you know what, Tabitha, I need to talk to you. Maybe you're interested in being an affiliate. I would love, every time I watch you and watch some of the other ones, I always think, oh my God, why haven't I reached out to see if they'd be interested in being an affiliate? You're also talented. Oh, but you know what? I can't have stones around the bottom. Maybe that was why I didn't do the bottom, huh? Right? Because then they would, right? If I do, I think I need to leave it. Otherwise, it's going to be weird, right? So this is, you know what I could do down there? I could, after I get this glued on, I could make little steps. I think that's what I'll do. So I'll leave that there for the minute, for a minute. Let's put some stones around the windows, right? So they all match. <laughs> yeah, they'd be tripping over the blocks. But I think I could put steps. Oh, Marilyn, you're asking me to use moss, I know. I did actually have some moss um, that I have not used. And it would be very cute. I think I'm gonna do this one a little different. Um, thank you. Is it Millen? Thank you, Barb Zimmerman. How are you? I feel like I haven't seen you for a bit either. If you mount it in the base, you could have stepping stones. Oh, Karen. That's a great idea. Wow. That might have to be, this might have to be a two-parter. I just, I, you know, you guys are going to get tired of watching me make stones. But what if we get the house done and then maybe another live that I could do tomorrow. See, I'll commit to that right now. We come back and maybe get it on the stand. So for those of you just joining us, this is our Pixie House Kit, comes with or without Pixie Dough. It's on the website already. It's $18 with the Pixie Dough, $10 without. So if you buy it with the Pixie Dough, it's a $4 savings. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I think I'm going to, um... oh shoot, I forgot that this has to stay plugged in, doesn't it? It's not like my other one. It's not like my other one. Okay. Let's do this. Do this. So the pixie dough will uh, shrink a little bit. And that's why when I am doing this kind of work, or if I'm making like a long string of something, and I want it to make it look like one continuous, I always, always put pieces together because it will fuse and it won't shrink. It's really weird. I think because once you do that and you've got it glued, everything just stays in place. Okay. Gotta let my glue gun heat up a little more. I forgot that, um, it's not like my white one. My white glue gun, you charge the battery. Anyway. So when do you smooth the top? Oh, Barb, did I, is that part of my conversation or someone else's conversation? Because I'm not sure what you're talking about. So it might be a conversation you were having with somebody else. And probably, I haven't decided yet how I want to finish it. I will put a top coat and um, oh, I might just wax it. I might even do some dark wax on it. I think that's what I'll do at the very end or right, I think I will. Whoop. There we go. 
Oh, that one's a little bigger and that works. That's okay, right? Whoa. Oh, did I? Okay, there we go. It got stuck. I noticed that my with my butterflies. Uh, yes, Catherine, I actually even thought about adding some critters as well. Um, I thought that would be super cute. Maybe just here and there because they would be on the outside. See? Great minds think alike. All right, so let me see if this is warm enough. So it feels like it. Okay. Put it back on here. Oh, it's cute. I am, I'm really loving this. Okay. This is the kind of stuff um, that takes a long time. I joke and I say, I could paint a piece of furniture longer than it takes me to craft something. Honestly, I could. That's because when you're painting, right? for me, if I'm just blending furniture, that's so easy, right? But when you're crafting, you are doing one little step at a time like this. I saw something about a fairy. Are we talking about putting a fairy? Put the, put the fairy standing by the door. I don't have a fairy. Well, I have something I could use as a fairy. I don't know if you remember, but we gave a little wooden person. Maybe I'll just do that. I had thought about it, and I'm like, oh, would that look silly? I don't want it. I could put wings on it. I just don't want it to look like an angel. Because I don't have an actual fairy. Okay. I could, um, oh, fairy lights inside would be really pretty. I thought about that, and I'm going to leave all that up to you guys to do, um, because I thought, oh, and I guess if you did fairy lights, would you have to decorate the inside? I almost did decorate the inside, I'll be honest with you, and then I changed my mind. I'm like, you know what, I, I'm going to be able, this is, like I said, may end up being a two-parter because just doing all this little stuff is something else, right? Okay. I want to show you what I'm going to do with the roof. And there we go. our other window, one of the other, and we still have, see, this is time consuming, right? But at the end, you know, when you do these little details, it's like at the end, you're just so happy you did, right? And because of the fact that I am taking what we were calling our gingerbread house and making it something else, you know, you wanna change it up. You wanna do something a little different. Oh, I'm gonna try to hurry, okay? Because I know I'm gonna end up losing it. I know this isn't the most exciting thing. Okay. Ready? Okay, okay. 
here we go. So, I can't tell you what we're doing, but we are coming out with like a super cool product. And my daughter Mio, that's my creative daughter, um, came up with the idea the other day. We were just brainstorming like, okay, what could we add to our Pink Pixie line that would be different, that would be fun. And um, uh, March 1st is what we're hoping. Next week, she's busy, uh, she's a photographer. So she's busy shooting some kind of convention or something this week. But next week, she's gonna sit and design what we're going to do. And I told her I'm shooting for March 1st. And again, I can't tell you what it is, but I think you're really gonna like it. It's going to be exciting and different. You have not, I'm pretty sure you have never seen what we're going to be doing. And that's, you know, and that's it too, is I think, um, I'm seeing that my kits are not selling as well. And that kind of started back in August. So I keep thinking, well, maybe my kit ideas aren't resonating anymore with people. And I also do know that back in August, we had back to school, and then before you know it, you've got the holidays and all that. But I want to keep everything kind of, you know, fresh for you. So that is, like I said, I can't talk about it, but we do have something for March 1st I'm excited about. Our, um, I had asked some of you, like on a live, when I was working on my clocks, if you thought you might like a clock kit. So I'm thinking um, also in March, we'll do a clock kit. I'm kind of just working on getting some of, like if we can repurpose some of these pieces from other kits and really keep the price down, right? Because now I'm to the point, I wanna, I wanna clearance them, but I want you to have some fun. So that's why, actually, if you just want this wood house and nothing else, it's on there as a wood house. And it's only five dollars. I completely forgot about that till right now. So you could do the wood house. It's on clearance for five. If you want the whole kit, which is the house, the orange candlestick, which makes the the stand, uh, the little wood round, and um, what did I say? That would be it. That's ten dollars. So you would get the candlestick. Oh, and five blocks. That's ten dollars. And if you want the pixie dough, that's 18. So when you buy it with the pixie dough, um, that really takes, that takes $4 off what, you know, the price would be. Pixie dough alone is 12. So for $6, you're getting everything else. It really is a good deal. If I may say so myself. Oh, I have to read. Hi Josie, how have you been? Pam Dudley, how are you? Tammy, are you not, are you still in pain? Are you in pain? I'm sorry. Okay. We're getting there, everybody. Just stick with me. We're getting there. Oh, you know what I did? Dummy. Mean... Oh, no, that's the side. I'm thinking, did I? No, the back window is the arch. All of a sudden, see, I'm not paying attention. Definitely is a better deal with fix it Oh, it is, Melinda. It is. We've got another deal going on with the Pixie Dough. Tomorrow, I think um, Linda and Lisa are going to show you the other deal. And it's where you buy a full-size Pixie Dough and uh, get some stuff with that too. We have a lot of pixie dough in stock. We just did inventory and we're like, you know what? Um, let's see if we can't do, you know, do some stuff with it. It's getting so popular now, the pixie dough is, that you know, the more we show it and use it, more people want to try it. And that's what we want, right? We want it 
we want to get it in everyone's hands because it's cool stuff. All right, and I just have one more piece. This one shouldn't take as long because it's a small window. Huh. And then I think what we'll do is go ahead and paint the stones. I think the stones I want to do in more like, you know, like a river stone, like grays and blacks. I think that's what we're going to do with the stones. You know, kind of keep the whole outside of the house neutral. Um, we've got the red door. I've got an idea for the doorknob. And not makes it, you know, I'm not going to make it out of pixie dough. I want to see. I can. be really super easy to. Okay. Ah, so I'm doing okay. We, yeah, Pam, you know, the holidays are so hectic. We were gone. Um, We ourselves were gone like a lot because of Thanksgiving and Christmas. We were in Vegas with our families. And then January 6th, we left for Maui and we just got back last Tuesday, last week. And then Mr. Pixie's in Utah today and tomorrow, yesterday, today and tomorrow. And he, you know, he always says, do you want to go with me? And I'm, this, uh, I'm like, not this time. And the next week, he's going to Baltimore, and he says, you want to go to Baltimore? I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, too cold. I get to travel with him for free because he travels so much with his job. He gets what's called a companion pass. So my flights are free. But you know what kind of keeps me from, well, from doing all that with him is, first of all, I hate the Phoenix airport. It's so big. And, um, but really what keeps me from going, I end up in a hotel room by myself all day. And unless I know somebody in the town or the city, what fun is it? Back in the past when I was doing a lot more traveling with him that way, I did lives. But that's when we were taking our RV because I could pack my RV with my craft supplies. When you're traveling by plane, it's not as easy. Right? Because you've got to haul glue guns and, you know, whatever, paint. It all gets heavy, too. Stephanie, oh, <laughs> are you asking me if I need the dough, Stephanie? I'm sorry. I, um, I am not a museum person, Barb, I'll be honest with you. I joke, I say we are very uncultured. I don't like opera. I guess it depends on the museum, though, right? I've been to... A lot of big ones in Paris. Not a lot of big ones. The big ones there. But we joke like, oh, we're so uncultured. And it's not like I, you know, if I, let's say I even wanted to go to a, you know, do thrifting. Then I'd have to figure out, how am I going to get this home? Or do, am I going to have to ship it home? And, you know, it just... It is really is not that people think it's great. Like, oh my God, you get to travel. But uh, when you spend all that time by yourself, it's not that fun. So I'm here with you instead, having fun. Whoops. So you can see what I'm doing here now. I'm going to go ahead and just connect these like this because then... There we go. I can glue them. Okay. And smash those down a little bit. We're almost done with the stones, everybody. <laughs> I, Barb, my husband is, who knows, he might be getting this big deal. He's a business development manager, which means he's a negotiator for a big corporate. He, um, 
He negotiates, he negotiates big deals. So he travels and he's in the, um, more like the home building materials business. He's on the cabinet side. And so his clients are like big dealers, like cabinet dealers and stuff like that. So he's, you know, goes and works up business plans for them. He always says, I don't sell, he, he's been doing this for years. He says, I don't sell cabinets, I sell business plans. Because a cabinet is a cabinet if it's quality, right? And if he's dealing with builders or even big dealers, like there are dealers that have, um, stores all over the country. They're big. So when he's dealing with them, it, yes, the quality is number one important, but it's about the price. So he goes in and negotiates, and that's what he does. All right. So let me grab my licorice. I think we'll use cream puff. And foggy martini. I may not even, if I just mix my cream puff and licorice, I might get the gray that I want. I, I might, you know what? I might incorporate instead. Let's, let's play a little bit. Let's play. I'm going to just use the same tray. Um, let's do... Cream puff. Oh my gosh, back in my, we're going to even use the chai latte again. Um, back in my contracting days when I was a paint contractor, I used to do a lot of fake block walls. I painted a lot of them in my time. And they were fun because you'd step back and they looked real. And I loved it when my client would go, they're like, I know it's fake, but I gotta touch it. And I'm like, yay, I did my job. So I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use my cat's tongue. This is a wonderful brush. It's got that tip so I can kind of get under everything. So anyway, let's see, where are we here? Have you ever thought of colored dough? You can color your own dough. Did you know that? You can put paint in it. Lisa does it all the time. That I, when you start, like for me, if I started, um, if I'm understanding, have you ever thought of colored dough? I'm thinking maybe for me to sell colored dough, I wouldn't even know what color to go for. But since you can mix your paint in this and make your own color, you can do that. All right, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing just yet. Uh-oh. Guess what? Why is that not sticking? I've never had this problem before. Ever, ever, ever. I want... I have never had my pixie dough not stick to my glue. It's sticking on the other side though. Wow. Okay. I wonder, did I wait too long to put it on there? All right. So I think what we'll do, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna use my three in one. It's clear and I really like it. Kind of expensive though. It's more expensive than my tight bond. I know Lindy uh, uses this, and I, that's where I, why I decided to try it. Okay. I'll make sure. Huh, that is so weird. I'm gonna, with the cat, with the tip of the cat's tongue, I can kind of get under, whoops, under my stone. And I think for, there we go. Let's just 
kind of do that for now. If I have to touch up around my stone because I have too much licorice or whatever, I don't think it'll be a big deal. What I should do is, I think I'll do the tops like I'm doing now. And then the next time I grab paint, and you see how I just take that off, I'm gonna grab some chai latte to run on the bottom of the stone so that it matches the color of the building. And then I can come back after that and color my stones. And then I'm not like wasting a lot of time trying to be super careful about not getting the licorice on there. And, you know, I'm thinking about this glue, this hot glue. You know, I wonder if it's the brand. I'm not using the Sherbonder glue sticks because I have some that I want to use up. And I don't know if that's the problem, but I am telling you, I mean, this side's sticking. This side doesn't feel like it's coming off. Huh. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to take a little bit of cream puff and licorice and just kind of dot the top. In the sides a little bit making sure I don't get it all over my um, all over my building and you can see I'm just doing it right on top of the wet chai latte and this is something you can go back afterwards and play with if you want. Say they're not the exact color you want or too much of one. You're just dotting and playing. But yet, you know, at the same, whoops, at the same time, you're giving it a, another color, so another dimension, right? Okay, let's see. Oh, oh. Starting to look like a cottage, yay! That's what I want to hear. Okay, just keep moving on. We're gonna do the same thing here. Let's start with the chai latte. Whoops, I've got, oh my gosh, Josie. Got those webs everywhere. Oh my goodness. That's not good, okay. Right, there we go. You could make these stones separate and paint them separately and then glue them on, but I just find that's too much work. I am more about, I wanna get it on there, I wanna get it done. I'll figure a way out to paint them. You know, and by, you know, it is just paint, right? So that's why by incorporating this chai latte into my stone color, you can't even tell that it wasn't supposed to be there, right? And then I'm working like right underneath these little areas. I'm going to need more of this. All right. And then, oh, you could add a little bit of moss on the stone as well. Oh, Stephanie, that'd be really, really cute. Right? So it looks, yeah, so it looks like it's mossy. Yeah, the only kind of moss I have, and I don't know if it is the right kind, if you're watching Lisa's Life today, it's that one. It's it's not that green one that, that looks like a carpet kind of look. I tried using that once on a project, and oh, I hated it. It was a mess. I shouldn't say hated it. That's not nice. I didn't like, I didn't enjoy using it. It was so messy. I did it on my Halloween project. That's what it was. But I like how 
And plus, I was using what looked like big carpets, of the, like big pieces to make it look like grass was growing on top of my coffin or something. Whereas Lisa does small little areas at a time. But I, so I do have the other kind of moss, which I think might work. we were just kind of working with some cream puff and licorice just to kind of give a gray look to these stones right don't have to be too fussy about it Yeah, I think, um, gosh, I bet I have been on a long time. I don't even know what time I started. I think 2 o'clock. Was it 2 o'clock that I started? Oh, sorry, 2 o'clock my time, not your time. 2 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, I think, is what time I started. Because I remember thinking, looking at the clock and thought, Oh, Josie, you forgot to drink your shake today for lunch. So my meals today are going to be kind of out of whack. <laughs> I'll drink my shake. Probably end up having dinner closer to 7 o'clock. Because I may not be hungry till later. So yeah, we can make this a two-parter. And then maybe I can um, I can look at the moss that I have. I can look at the little wooden person that I have that we might be able to put wings on and make it a little fairy, right? Put by the door because I think it's a really cute idea. Brenda Crow, I'm happy you love my kits. Yeah, we're at the very last minute today trying to think about, oh my gosh, how can I sell these 27 houses that I have left from Christmas? Well, my thought is, why do they, why does it have to be a gingerbread house? Why can't it be a fairy house? Right? And so it's a fairy house kit. And then if you just want the house by itself, you can buy that too. It's um, it's not, it's on, it's all on its own, I believe, $5. It just says Woodhouse. And then there's this kit. So with the pix, a full pack of pixie dough, it's 18. And you get, you know, several pieces of wood, different kind of wood pieces. Without the pixie dough, it's only 10. You know, maybe you already have a lot of pixie dough left from the kits because, a, a lot of our kits already come with samples of pixie dough. There we go. So maybe all you want is the actual, just the kit with no dough, it's $10. This could be a super cute project for you if you've got a little girl, a granddaughter, even a grandson, why can't, there, there are boy pixies out there too. You know, I don't know, I always think of girls, but heck. I have grandsons. I bet you if I was in Vegas, my eight-year-old grandson, he'd be more than happy to paint one of these with me. You know, he just likes to paint. That's the one when I do go and I stay with them. Um... He'll like come in from school and he's like, Nana, can we paint? <laughs> I'm like, well, you got to do your homework first. That's the most important thing. And then we can paint. And then he and I have done a couple little lives. This is way in the past. And one time my daughter, Mio, my creative daughter, wanted him to go live with her doing something. And he said, 
No, I only go live with Nana. So that was cute. I thought that was really cute. You wouldn't go live with her. I only go live with Nana. I didn't realize that at the time. Alrighty. Our stones are painted. All right, so did we ever decide what time it was? Oh my gosh, I've been on an hour and a half. Sorry, I was looking at the clock. It's almost 3.30 my time. All right, so this, if I remember right, Did a, it was easier for me. To, I think that's really the way you have to do it. I end up, I ended up throwing away my instructions a long time ago because I had this put together for my pictures, and I'm like, oh, I don't need instructions, and you don't. You can figure it out. It's just easier if you have them. All right, so. Now I want to lock them in. Come on. You just have to line them up right, right? This one's crooked. Okay, come on, Josie. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize I forgot it. I have to paint the bottom. All right, so this is where we're at right now, right? And I think I'm going to, we'll put the roof on. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's. Go ahead and put the roof on. Ouch. Then I can paint the base. Don't paint yourself though. That doesn't feel good. In case you want to know. Okay. have enough wood biscuits. I have another idea, Karen, um, that I am going to do for the roof. And um, for right now, though, I want to take some of the water out of here. I want to paint the base. Oh, wait a minute. That would end up being probably the grass, right? So maybe I want to hold off. You know what? I'll paint the base just so it's painted. Just in case I decide I just want it to match the house. And I can always change the color. If I decide maybe it should be green, right? Because it would be grass growing there. And that's probably what I'll end up doing. But for now, let's just get this done. And it, it'll be just fine. Okay. And then I have some ideas for the edges. I was thinking maybe for the edges. And again, I probably, let's maybe, after, I'm going to, scroll and pick a name for a kit. Um, but I'm thinking we'll continue tomorrow. But I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Um, on the corners here, I'm thinking of pixie dough making those look like big um, blocks on the corners. I know you've seen homes 
with, uh, I'm pretty sure you have, maybe you haven't, maybe in your part of the country they don't have them. But I've seen homes where there are big blocks on the corner of the house. And I thought, oh, that way it kind of hides where the, it's sticking out, right? I can incorporate that. But all in all, I think it's a super cute project. Um, I hope you'll consider doing one for yourself or somebody. For anyone just tune, kind of didn't tune in at the beginning, I'll show you what the kit comes with and my thought. So the kit is the house. Let me see if I love the curved roof. Yes. Right, the kit's the house, and then I thought it could be super cute. So it could be a pixie. It could do, you could even make this into like a birdhouse, right? But I thought, oh, how about a cute stand for it? Right? So we've got the wood house, we have the four inch candlestick, we have the five wood blocks that make the door, and that wood round. The reason I'm putting the round is to give it more stability under there, right? So this, what do you think, my friends? Do you think for, minus the pixie dough, $10? Not a bad deal, right? You get lots of cute stuff. And let's say you didn't want to use the candlestick. You could just use it as a candlestick, right? Or put a top on it and do something else with it. Okay, so I'm thinking we should scroll. And I can let all of this dry and just kind of touch up because it's gonna take me a bit to do my roof. Um, we still have to paint the candlestick, put a knob, and so maybe what I'll even do, maybe before tomorrow, unless uh, you want to see me um, waxing it, I can wait to do all the wax when we're done. Otherwise, I can do that ahead of time. Alrighty, so, so that's the $10 kit if you want the $18 kit, it comes with pixie dough, which is worth $12. So it's $4 savings if you decide you want to do And it's a full pack, not a sample pack. Full pack of pixie dough. All right. So. Ah. Oh, I love it. I can scroll, scroll. Oh, Josie. Okay. We're going to. Ah, what did you just do? Okay, we're going to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see. All right, we're gonna scroll. And Brenda Crow, you are going to be gifted the Pixie Dough Kit with the, um, Pixie Dough Kit. The Pixie House with a full package of Pixie Dough. All right? So, um, we only have 27 of these kits remaining. We're gonna be gifting one, so that means we got 26. Tomorrow, uh, we'll see. So Brenda, I don't, do I have your address in our database? If I don't, maybe you could just message me your address um, and I can forward that to my daughter who'll be shipping all this to you. And then tomorrow, we'll do a drawing, but it may not, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll be for another kit. What do you think? Come back tomorrow. We'll gift another kit. How's that? And I know you're going to ask me what time, and I don't know. I thought I was going to come on live this morning, but the truth is, I if you watch me from the beginning, I have a fear of failure, and I kept, I was scared. I really was. I was scared to try this project. I was scared it wasn't going to turn out the way I had envisioned it. And it's actually coming out even cuter. 
and I appreciate you all being here. So tomorrow, I'm going to, oh wait, tomorrow's Thursday. So I know Lisa is going to be on in the morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I believe, Lisa and Lindy. How about if I come on, no, wait, what's today? Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday, right? What if I come on after them? I'll plan on coming on. I'm thinking maybe 1 o'clock my time, which would be, uh, my time is not standard time, 2 o'clock Central and 3 o'clock Eastern. So let's plan on that. 1 o'clock Mountain Standard Time tomorrow. I'll come back. We'll finish this up. We will gift another kit, okay? And I appreciate you all so much being here. I'll go back and read the comments. Hopefully uh, you love this so far. I am on it. I love the red door. Thank you for suggesting red. It's beautiful. And I can't wait to finish this up tomorrow. It's going to be so fun, right? Because we have some embellishments. Tomorrow could end up being a couple of hours. We'll see. Maybe not. But at least the same amount of time. So plan on it. All right. Love you all so much. I really do. You mean so much to me, the world to me, honestly, when I say that. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to shoot for 1 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. And Brenda Crow, maybe you just message me your address and that way I know I've got it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great afternoon, great evening. And I'll see you tomorrow.